Hello everyone. In the last video of this orthopedic appliance, we have seen about the general principle of these appliances. So they were, it is an extraoral appliance. The forces they are between the range of 400 grams to 800 grams. Then the forces they are intermittent in nature and it should be worn for 10 to 12 hours a day. Now the forces now you can see it is very high. So because of that, it can bring the changes in the skeletal malocclusion. And now this orthopedic appliances they are used when the patient is in the growing phase when the active growth phase is going on and it cannot be used when the patient has completely grown so if in that case if there is a skeletal discrepancy so if the dis skeletal discrepancy is minor so in that case you are using a camouflage treatment or if the discrepancy is major so in that you are doing the surgical procedures so basically three main orthopedic appliances are used that are the face mask head gaze and chin cup so starting off with the first that is the chin cup introduction to it so it was introduced by Oppenheim the chin cup or it is also known as chin cap and it is a extraoral appliance now all the orthopedic appliance they are the extraoral appliance they are used extraorally they utilized in the treatment of class 3 malocclusion so chin cup it is used in class 3 malocclusion so this is a class 3 malocclusion that are characterized by protrusive mandible but a relatively normal maxilla so this is the case where you can see this is the mandibular base so in this now there are problems skeletally so you are doing the changes skeletally so in this case the mandible it is protrusive and your maxilla it is normal so this is so this chin cup it is used in class 3 malocclusion so it is a restraining device that attempts to inhibit the growth of the mandible now as it is used in class 3 so what happens in this chin cup so this is a chin cup so it restrains the growth of mandible which prevents it from growing forward and downward now as you know the mandible it grows in the forward and the downward direction so this chin cup now you can see the position of this chin cup now this chin cup it is placed on the chin and hence it is known as chin and as it is like it as it looks like a cup or a cap and hence it is known as a chin cup so it prevents it from so it prevents the mandible from growing forward and downwards and thereby it prevents or it treats the class 3 malocclusion so it is achieved by slowing down the rate of growth of the condylar cartilage so it is slowing down the growth of the condylar cartilage and thus it helps in the treatment of the class 3 malocclusion in which the mandible it is grown excessively so in that case the mandible it is protrusive so it helps in the class 3 malocclusion now how the chin cup it is assembled so a typical chin cup face bow assembly it consists of three main components that are the chin cup head cap and a force module so chin cup as the name says so this is a chin cup so it is placed on the chin then head cap as the name says it is placed on the head and a force module it is a component between this other two component which helps in the direction of the forces so the chin cup it can be custom made or it is preformed it can be hard or soft so hard chin cup they are made up of metal or plastic then the soft chin cup they are made from the football helmet chin strap so this is a football helmet so in this football helmet you also have this chin strap and basically it is made up of leather so this is a soft chin cup which is made up of leather then chin cap it can irritate the chin so this chin cap it can now irritate the chin and because of that you need a protective layer or talcum powder for the comfort now more the chin cap or the strap it migrates up towards the lower lip during the appliance wear so when the appliance it is worn so in that case if the chin cup it is migrating more towards the lower lip that means there is more lingual movement of the lower incisors and in this case the soft cups they produce more tooth movement than the hard ones then the chin cup it, utili it utilizes a head cap which is firmly seated or fitted on the posterior superior aspect of the cranium as anchorage now this head cap so this is used for the anchorage which is fitted on the cranium then the force module such as it can be an adjustable elastic strap or a metal spring and it connects this chin cup with the head strap the forces which are directed are 400 to 800 grams when it is so the when the forces they are applied through the head of the condyle so in this now you can see this is applied through the head of the condyle and because of that the forces which are used are 400 to 800 grams and if you're using or when the forces they are applied below the condyle so over here now you can see so this is applied below the condyle so in that case you can use somewhat lighter forces so this is a chin cup assembly now what are the types of the chin cup so first is a occipital pull chin cup so it is the most commonly used chin cup and now as the name says occipital so you are taking the anchorage from the occipital bone so the 
नेम एज इट सजेस्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ चिन कप डिराइव दंकरेज फ्रॉम दी ऑसिपिटल रीजन ऑफ दी हेड एंड इट इज यूज इन क्लास थ्री स्केलेटल माल ऑक्लूजन वेर देर इज माइल्ड टू मॉडरेट मैंडिबल प्रोग्नाथिजम एंड इट इज ऑल्सो इंडिकेटेड इन पेशेंट विद स्लाइटली प्रोट्रूजिव लोअर इंसाइजर्स एज दे इनवेरिएबली प्रोड्यूस द लिंगुअल टिपिंग ऑफ द लोअर इंसाइजर नॉट दिस चिन कप इट प्रोड्यूस इज द लिंगुअल टिपिंग सो इट कॉज लिंगुअल टिपिंग ऑफ द लोअर इंसाइजर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट यू कैन यूज दिस चिन कप इन दी incisors when the lower incisors they are protrusive now as we have seen like in the assembly so there are two forces so there are two line of forces so it can be when the line of forces is acting directly through the condyle or if it is acting below the condyle so this occipital pull chin cup it acts directly through the condyle so this yellow one is your condyle now you can see the forces the line of force it is acting directly through the condyle so this occipital it is acting through the condyle so this literally impedes the mandibular growth and this causes no opening of the mandibular plane angle and the line of force which is acting below the condyle so the next type of chin cup which is a vertical pull chin cup so that chin cup it is acting below the condyle but in that case the chin it is rotated downward and backward and in that case we have seen as we require less forces and in that there is increase in the facial height and there is decrease in the prominence of the chin so when the forces they are acted below the condyle so in that case you will see there is increase in the facial height and there is decrease in the prominence of the chin so it is acting below the condyle and not directly through the condyle type is a vertical pull chin type so this anchorage so this type of chin cup it takes the anchorage from the parietal region of the head so in the occipital now you have seen the anchorage was from the occipital bone now in this there is the support or there is the anchorage from this parietal bone and it is indicated in the patients with the steep mandibular plane angle and excessive lower anterior facial height so in this now this is a lower facial height so when this facial height is excessive so that means basically it is a class 3 malocclusion and it is indicated when there is steep mandibular plane angle now how is this mandibular plane angle so this is your mandibular plane and this is a frankfurt's horizontal plane so when this two planes they join and they meet at a an angle so that is your mandibular plane angle so when the mandibular plane angle it is steep or where there is excessive lower anterior facial height so this vertical pull chin cap it is indicated in such cases so this type of class 3 conditions they are usually associated with anterior open bite so this is where you will see the anterior open bite so this type of chin cup it rotates the mandible in the anti clock direction so this type of chin cup it is moving or it is rotating your mandible in anti clockwise direction so in this there is decrease in the mandibular plane angle now we have seen it is indicated in steep mandibular plane angle so this vertical pull chin cap decreases the mandibular plane angle and it helps in decreasing the gonial angle so this is your gonion so over here this is your gonion so when it is like used so this is a gonion angle so it helps in decreasing this gonial angle so now you can see over here so when this gonion angle it is too large so it will lead to class 3 so it helps in decreasing this gonial angle then there is increase in the posterior facial height or there can be decrease in the anterior facial height now as it is used in excessive lower anterior facial height so it helps to decrease that anterior facial height and it also helps to increase the posterior so if the posterior facial height is increasing so in that the anterior facial height it gets decrease and by that the open bite which was present it gets closes so this is a vertical pull chin cap the force magnitude and the duration of wear now at the time of appliance delivery of the forces so when you are applying or when first you are using this appliance the forces they are 150 to 300 grams per side now the next 2 months the forces they are gradually increased to 450 to 700 grams per side and it is worn for 10 to 12 hours then gradually the duration it may be increased to 16 to 18 hours a day and decreasing so when you are increasing the time of duration so in that case you are decreasing the forces level so when you are increasing the so the time so if you are increasing it to 16 to 18 hours so then you decrease the force level to 200 to 400 grams which was earlier when the patient was wearing it for 10 to 12 hours so the forces they were 450 to 700 grams then the patient they are strictly advised to wear the appliance for minimum 12 to 14 hours a day to achieve the desired re results and it has to be worn for 24 hours if there is 
there is like severe prognathic mandible so in that case you have to wear this appliance like the whole day so if the growth of the mandible is to be stopped then in that case 1200 grams of forces they are to be used so in that case you are using 600 grams per side and if you are redirecting the growth so in that case you are using 400 grams per side then this results in 4 to 5 grams per square mm at the condylar region to effect this changes so this is about the force magnitude for how much time you should wear this orthopedic that is your chin cup appliance all about the chin cup i hope you found this video helpful thank you so much